Hello, today I'm going to be sharing nine cool startups which are using GPT-3 as their core technology. Uh, this is really exciting to, to see. If you don't know, GPT-3 is an AI model released by OpenAI last July. And it's really exciting to see within less than a year, we're already seeing real companies built on top of GPT-3. And for me, I think this is a sign that the GPT-3 ecosystem is maturing. I think things start getting very real once there's real economic and economic incentives behind them. So in this case, if there's startups built on top of GPT-3, that means, you know, they might start making money. And once you have money, they can encourage the development of GPT-3, they can pay OpenAI through the API for access to it and for each request. And OpenAI can then use that money to further advance the development of GPT-3. So this is a good sign. This is an exciting sign. And it's showing that maturity of GPT-3. It's not just a cool API. You know, it has some commercial uh, potential as well. And so without further ado, let's get started. So the first startup I'm sharing, this is sort of the classic GPT-3 startup, probably the first that I can remember. It's called AI Dungeon. And it's sort of this text-based app that you can download on your phone. And uh, essentially it's like a single person or multiplayer text-based game. And it is powered by GPT-3. And so for many people, including myself, this was a great way to just interact with GPT-3 sort of indirectly because not everybody has a GPT-3 invite access. And so this is just a great way to interact with it, see what it's capable of. But in today's video, I just I wanted to share that this is a real startup, like they have real paying users. And I, I'm not sure if they're profitable, but hopefully they're headed in that direction. Very cool. Uh, next is copy.ai. So like I mentioned in a previous video, if you don't know, copy or copywriting is basically when you write the text or text material for a marketing department. When you're writing in marketing, it's called copywriting. And so if you're coming up with a text for a billboard, if you're coming up with the text for a magazine ad or a Google ad or writing the, the content for the homepage, that's all called copywriting in the marketing world. And so copywriting can be really tough. Like it, you know, it can really involve pulling your hair. You know, you have to write content, which not only people understand, but that makes them want to buy something, right? And so GPT-3 is, is a great application, a great fit to make copywriting easier um, and sort of streamline that process. Maybe that it, this is something that we could start giving to AI and technology rather than having humans do it. And so Copy AI is a real startup. It's powered by GPT-3 and I'm pretty sure they're making money as well. So that's great news, very exciting to see. Uh, next is, is Broca, it's, it's sort of similar. It helps you write copy. Uh, had a great meeting with the founder. You know, they're a real company, hustling. And I believe specifically the demo that I saw was for using Broca to write Google Ads. And it was really awesome. It, it you know, shows you a demo of what the ad would even look like inside of, you know, when it's served through Google. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they're starting to make money as well and have some, some really big corporate buy-in as well. Very cool, I'm excited about Broca. Uh, next is Replica, and this is probably one of the coolest apps I've seen or used in a long time. It sort of lets you have an AI companion um, and sort of interact with AI and sort of maybe even, uh, you know, establish some kind of emotional or some kind of, you know, relationship sort of connection. Um, now, I'm not sure if they fully use GPT-3 or GPT-2 fine-tuned or, or some mix, but I did want to share that, you know, this is a really compelling startup and it shows sort of uh, where things can go as these language models improve. Next, this is Other Side AI. This is a, an incredible uh, company in the GPT-3 space. I would say one of the bigger ones. Um, and they've basically made an email client. Th they've essentially made an extension which can, while you're using your email client like Gmail, it can fill out the content for you. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of corporate people, they spend a lot of time writing emails. You know, I spend a lot of time writing emails to have something like Other Side AI, which is powered by GPT-3, write those emails for me. That time saving is worth, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars, even for me a year. Uh, and what's what's also cool about Other, Other Side AI is they've also raised money. 
from, from venture capitalists. And so this is an exciting milestone, exciting development in the GPT-3 ecosystem that people are not only making profitable businesses, people are even raising money from you know established investors because even the investors believe in the potential of the GPT- GPT-3 ecosystem. Very cool. Uh, next, I wanted to share Flowrite. Uh, this is also, it's, it's similar to other side AI. Uh, these founders are incredible and, you know, they're essentially helping to essentially being powered by GPT-3, just autofill and, and write content using AI to write it for you uh, and saving you time. Very cool. Uh, next is Help Hub. This is a cool GPT-3 powered, uh, startup that essentially helps you come up with the content for a customer support help site or maybe some customer support like documentation you sort of describe the article features that you want and it uses gpt3 to write it for you this is a huge time saving thing and the real exciting thing is this could this could actually help people right once you have your help pages set up anyone on the web can search and find them and it will save them time if they're already experiencing headaches and are having difficulty using your product pretty much every company in the world that is like a SaaS based b2b business uh, could be- could benefit from using Help Hub to to write a lot of their customer support articles. Uh, next, this is kind of similar. This is CopySmith, and you know I've shown you a lot of copywriting kind of startups so far. I'm aware, but you know they're also a major player. I suspect they have hundreds of thousands of users by now who are paying. Um, and it's it's just exciting to to see GPT-3 out in the real world, used by real businesses, saving lots of people time, maybe helping them make even more money. Uh, this is a this is a great example of GPT-3 out in the wild. And finally, uh, sort of similar to the first startup I showed you, um, this is essentially a writing aid called Shortly AI. So it it will sort of co-write with you while you're writing something and your co-writer just happens to be GPT-3. Uh, this is also a great site. If you want to try GPT-3 yourself for the first time, not only can you use it, but you can pay a monthly subscription to continue having access to it. And whatever you're writing, whether it's fiction or, or nonfiction, this tool can help you do that. And I also want to commend the founders of this tool for the interface. This is an incredible interface. I would put it up there sort of like medium or, or something like that, just based on how easy it was to use it. I think I used it. I think anybody could get it. Um, and there's a lot of potential here because writing is really hard. I think you could always use help. You could always use a second opinion and GPT-3 could be your help in doing that. It's trained on so much data uh, and it's pretty creative from a lot of the videos I've shared in the past. It's capable of coming up with a lot of cool, interesting things to say. That's all I had to share today. That's all nine startups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I got some more content coming up of just cool stuff I'm building with GPT-3 and sort of reflecting on it. So if you're interested in following along with my journey, please consider liking this video and of course subscribing. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching.